Greetings class, thank you for joining me as I share some insight about a presentation entitled Ending the Cold War Leadership, Liberty, and Legacy. A presentation being prepared for the Federation of North Carolina Historical Societies in conjunction with the North Carolina Department of Natural and Cultural Resources. The goal of this presentation is to help promote historical literacy concerning the ending of the Cold War period, as well as to foster co some contemporary thought and reflection given the state of the world that we live in today. The presentation will run roughly 25 minutes and consists mainly of three key facets, uh, those being the role and responsibility of leadership, which at the t that time was President Ronald Reagan for America, and kind of bringing this long-standing period of uncertainty uh, towards its conclusion. Uh, next is the symbolic ending of the Cold War with the bringing down of the Berlin Wall. And then finally, some reflections concerning the, the legacy and ultimately the significance of this event in history as a whole. For the sources for this project, there uh, will be primary source material from the Procre ProQuest Historical News Papers uh, in the Jerry Falwell Library Database. This will include documents from major news outlets such as the Washington Post, the New York Times, the Observer, uh, the Baltimore Sun, the Guardian, and the Wall Street Journal. The first section of articles uh, come from the Washington Post uh, and in which they just kind of highlight uh, President Reagan and the, the Berlin Wall coming down and kind of the impact of that in teaching that to kids and to the next generation, which is what really fostered my interest in this project in the first place was that I, I saw a poll of asking uh, the next generation of historic events that have happened uh, in the last 100 years and, and there were like very small events that got listed and hardly anyone mentioned the Cold War which is crazy considering how long it lasts so that's really kind of what helped to jump start this presentation in the first place. The second article is from the articles from the Washington Post, the New York, New York Times, The Guardian, and the Baltimore Sun, as well as the Wall Street Journal, which uh, reflect on Reagan's speech to Gorbachev, in which he called on Gorbachev to tear down the Berlin Wall uh, as that sign of heading towards peace, uh, which was obviously a, a major, major deal at that time and and the way in which Reagan did it going right there in front of the wall and, and giving that speech and really kind of calling out Gorbachev so boldly uh, was something that that maybe a lot of politicians wouldn't do nowadays but was a major step towards kind of bringing this to a conclusion and then finally the last section of articles uh, have some from the Washington Post the New York Times and the Guardian as well and they deal with the immediate aftermath reflections on the ending of the Cold War era that spanned for decades and now finally comes to a close and what is that? What does that mean? What was the significance of that? And then also kind of some of the who deserves credit for bringing this this to an end. And so my hope is that through this presentation we will be able to foster more historical literacy concerning uh, an often overshadowed yet broadly widespread insignificant event known as the Cold War between the United States and at that time the Soviet Union, while also hopefully maybe stirring a desire for a potential more comprehensive lecture series on the Cold War as a whole and the leaders all throughout the, the Cold War period, which would be interesting. And then lastly is to hopefully kind of uh, set the groundwork for some more contemporary discussions and reflections on the Cold War and, and U.S.-Russian relations, particularly as it pertains to the situations in the world that we see presently right now. So thank you very much for joining me and look forward to continued research. Thank you.